Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here, and today we have a special Pride episode collab about some of the top LGBTQ plus characters that we should have in Marvel Strike Force and where they might fit into the game. And to help talk about this, we have none other than Mr. Hargrave himself, that way, <laughs> himself coming along for the ride, and this is a two-parter. So we have this video here, and another will be up on his channel. Links will be in the description below, so do check that out as well. Uh, I know it's been a hot minute since we've had you on the channel, so hopefully you've been keeping well and you're ready to talk some Marvel today. Yeah, absolutely. I don't do very many speculation videos, but I feel like this is, this is good speculation. We definitely need more representation in the game of all you know kinds and uh i like that it upsets the internet troll i like that a lot i i, I expect this there, there to be a little bit of that in the comments down below so we'll find out later on so if you're already over there youtube then you know what to do let's take these characters and boil it down All right, and we're back. And so we're starting off uh, with my first character here. So we're going to be do doing like back and forth a little bit here. Uh, Carolina Dean. Now, this is uh, a little bit of an interesting one because we have Nico Minoru in the game. So we will be kind of talking a little bit about both of them in the game. But Carolina Dean is a Runaways. Some of you may or may not be familiar uh, with the Runaways. There's that TV show that was on Hulu, I think, in the U.S. And it was kind of... Uh, it wasn't exactly, you know, things are never exactly how it is in the comics. Uh, however, uh, it was fairly accurate with this character, with Carolina. So she is, her powers are like solar energy, light based, and you can kind of see that in the picture here. And I have, uh, one, no, I thought I had another one. But anyways, uh, you know, her, she, she is not the same way like some of the other, you know, solar based, I'm thinking of like, uh... Uh, sunspot, you know, like like him, because he also uses the power of the sun. But it's, I guess it's different. So this is just light based energy, right? Okay. Do you know much about Carolina Dean, Starcraft? I don't know a ton, but I do know. I, I was a little disappointed when Nico came to the game that the rest of the Runaways weren't kind of involved in it because mm. it is a very interesting team. Yeah. And because A Force was so un uninteresting in general, so I would like to see the rest of them come to the game as a team. Yeah, this is the picture of uh, Carolina Dean in Marvel Puzzle Quest. Yeah, I know, I don't play that game, but this is uh, her interpretation of it over there. I don't believe she's in Contest of Champions yet, even though they have a lot of characters in that game. Uh, so you can kind of see she's long hair. She kind of glows, uh, you know, when she uses her powers. And she's mostly known for the Runaways comic. Uh, she is a lesbian, so if that makes you uncomfortable, that's unfortunate. Uh, but we're here to talk about that anyways. In the main bit of the Runaways, she had her partner Zavin who was a Skrull and this was supposed to be a some sort of intergalactic wedding that they were supposed to have they were betrothed to each other uh for peace between their races or something like that uh but Carolina didn't know she was not human so she was she is an alien but you know she didn't know that really at first until she came in actually technically Skrulls are I don't know if they're gendered. I don't know a lot about Skrulls. I know because they shapeshift. So it, it, it's Zavin here uh, uh, shapeshift between male and female a lot, you know, it, it, to make Carolina uh, more comfortable. And so that was really interesting. And, and this was a big thing, like, when I grew up, in, like, in the mid-2000s, mid-2000s when I was in high school. Uh, so the Runaways and Young Avengers, which we'll talk about later, you know, were a big part of my growing up with these kind of comics. So it was really interesting to see the representation uh, that they used in this, you know, for these characters. And what yeah. I found out was that, yeah, so uh, I, I talked about in previous videos that like, I was a bit, I, I was a bit unsure about Nico Minoru actually being part of the LGBTQ community. Apparently the writer for the Runaways did fix this, I guess at some point, you know, more recently that they included this in that, yes, they have a canon relationship. Uh, of some degree, you know, more recently, probably within the last five years, I think. So, yes, I apologize that I, you know, for saying that Nico wasn't actually LB LGBTQ, here it is. Uh, but, you know, really at the end of the day, Carolina is sort of the main one. And that's who we normally talk about when it comes to this, not Nico, it's usually Carolina. And so for where I'd like to see them, obviously, is the Runaways. I'd like to see a proper Runaways team. 
uh, in Marvel Strike Force, because that's normally her main affiliation is typically the Runaways. And uh, characters, I guess we already have Nico, right? So it might be one of those like three new, two old kind of things. I don't know. Uh, but we could have uh, some of the major ones. I think you've seen some of them in Avengers Alliance. So there's Chase yep. Stein, uh, Victor Mancha, who was actually, I believe, like the, the, I don't know, android son of Ultron or something like that. And um, uh, Molly Hayes, who had like super strength. So it's, there could be... Like a little girl, right? Yeah, and then there's Gertrude with the with the dinosaur, if you want to add the dinosaur in. I don't know if that would be a separate character or not. Probably not. But, you know, there's a bunch of characters that they can include. So that's probably the most... Li or, or Zabin, who we just talked about. So there's a bunch of characters that we could add in. As far as what she would do, probably a blaster. Uh, or a support character, because of the light energy and all that stuff. Um, does she have to be... Go they would probably go blaster and yeah she yeah. was in marvel avengers alliance and yeah she was just oh, a was she? Kid. yeah she okay was cool. uh now does she have to be a cosmic character i mean like she i don't think she actually goes into space D does being an alien automatically make you cosmic in marvel strike force i don't know yeah, <laughs> yeah, city really global the, cosmic um, the marvel wiki has her as bio which they oh. probably they, they they don't tend to um they don't tend to make powered people bio for whatever reason, even though like the powers are classified yeah. as biological. Um, um, I'd like to see her be a city. I'd like to see the whole Runaways team be a city team. Yeah. To give us some more freedom. Well, Nico, 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 well, Nico is city, right? So that kind of makes sense. Okay, yeah. so Caroline's gonna be a city. Uh, <laughs> is she a mystic or a bio? Because she's alien, right? So they tend to give aliens mystic, which is weird. Uh, sometimes they get bio. Maybe bio. Well, let's put bio. City bio. Okay. That sounds great. All right. Okay. So that's Carolina Deed. We're going to move on to uh, Mr. Hargrave's first pick, who's going to be Union Jack. So let's talk about him. Yeah. So, yeah. Speaking about Marvel's uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance, that was a Facebook game that was a, a lot like Marvel Strike Force. Like so much that they probably ripped off a lot of mm -hmm. it, quite honestly, from Marvel, uh, from Marvel Avengers Alliance. So... Um, we've seen a, a lot of characters that end up in other games, end up in Marvel Strike Force. Union Jack, if you if you look at other games here, he's been like in everything, um, a lot of different video games. So he shows up. He's very oh, yeah. a very common character to kind of throw into these games. Um, yeah. And one of the first openly gay characters in the Marvel universe. Mm. Uh, so historically, a very important character. Um, as far as that goes, him and North Star, which is another great yep. character. If you if you want to just take that as a side note, it, it was kind of between Union Jack and North Star, and um, I, I lean more towards Union Jack. I think he's a cooler character. I like that he's um, what I what I like about good representation is that you know it's not it's not like his character defining trait that he's uh, homosexual, right? And <laughs> he's a badass. He shoots people, he stabs people, he gives no fucks. And, uh, you know, maybe he likes dudes, whatever, who cares? Uh, it's awesome. So I'd like to see Union Jack, how he fits into the game. He would definitely be a brawler. He's a hand-to-hand -hand combatant kind of guy. Uh, nasty, knife, stabby, shooty kind of dude. And you'd probably see it come to the game because we always have team. Um, you probably yeah. see it come to the game with some kind of like, you know, British invasion kind of angle, <laughs> Captain Britain, Black Knight three-man team something small don't know if they're gonna do that he was in the mcu he was in um one of the marvel movies is like kind of an easter egg um i don't know you know sometimes think things that are easter eggs in the movies end up making bigger appearances like in marvel plus shows i could definitely see union jack being involved in like the second season of falcon and the, and the winter soldier yeah if they're doing that i think they're doing that i don't know I think you may be right. I, I hope so. It was a good... I, I like that one, actually. I think so. If they're doing that and they include Union Jack, then that's when I would kind of expect them to, to tie it in, if they do it, you know? Which would be really cool. I think it'd be a cool thing. So do, does does he have superpowers? Because I think the wiki suggested that he had, like, the... Peak... No, so he's not. So he'd be a skill character, right? Yeah, he would be skill. Peak I human would, strength. I do believe, yeah. So then that makes me think that they could slide him into, like, a, a brand new character into the skill Doom Raids. You know, a standalone uh, character. Oh. Now, they don't release a lot of standalone characters without, you know, tag affiliations. I'm thinking, like, Silver Surfer and Kestrel might have been the last ones that really didn't have a team affiliation. They don't do as many of those as we should. Because I like those kind of, like, the characters that just slide into a, a spot somewhere that can just 
you know, is really good and just you can use them in in different places. So I'd yeah. love to see him be a replacement on that maybe like skill doom raid section somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I mean, they could just call him a secret Avenger. I don't know if that makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Well, you know, well, you know Avenger, Scopely you know? does a lot of things that don't make lore sense, so they could do yeah. whatever they want, I guess. Yeah, would, because they, we are missing two members for secret Avengers. You could just say, hey, it's Captain Britain. Yeah, no kidding. Um, those other two that I was talking about, they, they probably wouldn't make a team, a skill team, because, yeah, Black Knight would like 100% be mystic, like you're saying. He has magic powers. He's mystic. Mm -hmm. right? They're just not that creative. And then Captain Britain would probably be mystic as well. Yeah, I, I mean, like, probably Captain because Britain of like the origins. I, I guess it's an item, isn't it? Like some sort of uh, accessory that gives the powers. I think so. So, so yeah, I think Union Jack. They would just call it a secret Avenger for reasons. Make something up and and maybe maybe get like another Captain America style character to go with them do you have any idea who, who these people in the background are here on this comic no i is don't that, like i'm almost know, thinking this is black know. widow but i don't like a weird version of black widow but i'm, I'm not sure yeah. and then this guy i don't know he has a sword like i don't i don't know who any of these people are with a lot of the skill characters <laughs> i mean he definitely i mean i could definitely see him just even if it doesn't matter you know if it's lore or not the, the yeah. secret Avengers team is kind of all wonky anyways that's true uh, yeah throw minion jack on there what the hell <laughs> All right, so that's Union Jack. Let's move on to this. Was going to be a little bit of a mixture. So we have um, Hulkling and Wiccan. I can't, you know, discuss one without the other. So I'm kind of jumping back and forth between them. Uh, these are, if people follow my channel, the characters that I want the most in Marvel Strike Force or really any Marvel game that I ever play. And they are the ones who really got me back into Marvel. So they mean a lot to me personally. You know, like I said about uh, Carolina Dean when I was in high school, you know, I read the Young Avengers when the Young Avengers comics came out. Like that was really important to me. Uh, I remember picking it up and I saw that they had uh, LGBTQ inclusion. And at that time for me, like there wasn't a lot that I could really identify with. So for this, this really means a lot to me if they could have them in. And fortunately, not only do we miss them potentially being included in Pride Month, but the Young Avengers that we got wasn't the Young Avengers that I really wanted to have. You know, they didn't have any of the original characters and I want to kind of pivot to this photo here this is one of them anyways and so that's kate bishop so we have kate bishop <laughs> and then wiccan and hulkling are in the back here uh, we have stature who is in marvel strike force but on the pym tech team and we're not was not you know changed for young avengers at all which would have been an awesome tank replacement for miss marvel as a real young avenger and then we had patriot here uh, who uh, you actually might remember him a little bit from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. He is uh, Isaiah Bradley. Or wait, uh, or is that the older guy? Uh, the, the old guy in the show, his son, that's or his grandson is this guy. So he got the Super Soldier Serum. He stole it from his grandfather because that was in the show now. It's not spoilers anymore. It's been like, what, over a year or something now. Yeah, and you haven't watched it by now. No pity for you. So this is, I, I think we might actually see them in the MCU because they're kind of, they're kind of all there. I mean, we have Cassie Lang. We have Kate Bishop. We have uh, Patriot. Uh, we have sort of Wiccan. I mean, he's in there with the Scarlet Witch stuff that's going on right now. Uh, we're just missing a couple of characters, so I would be really appreciative of seeing that in the MCU. But more broadly, yes, they need to come to Marvel Strike Force. Uh, they came to Marvel Contest of Champions for Pride Month, and that was awesome. And uh, some other photos as well as them. Uh, some Spider-Man. I don't know why Spider-Man's in the back. I, I think Vision mentors them a little bit. That's why he keeps appearing uh, in the photos there. We have Speed. Yeah, Vision so rework, man. That would be nice. <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. <laughs> We have Speed here, and so he's the brother of Wiccan as well, um, related to Scarlet Wish. They, I, I don't remember exactly how this happened. I thought they kind of just poofed into existence, at least in the comics, because of something the Scarlet Wish did when she went crazy. Uh, I believe something related to was it M Day, where where she kind of depowered the mutants. I believe something on the back of that is what triggered uh, this with Wiccan and yeah, Wiccan yeah. and Speed. Uh, but with uh, with Hulkling, this is a good photo here too. So he is the Kree Scroll Emperor. He is the new Kree Scroll Emperor of this Kree Scroll Alliance. So they were finally brought together because they were at war for a long ass time in the comics and they were brought together so this is hulkling here with the sword i forget the name of the sword but he has that in contest of champions now uh we have uh wiccan as well and a bunch of different uh popular uh, i forget their names captain glory i think here in the back that I, I, i'm pretty sure that's captain marvel actually with the ronin staff whatever the um 
<laughs> I forget the name of the the accuser staff, basically, and a human torch in the background as well. So this is really cool. And Super Scroll. This is Super Scroll, actually. So that was a really cool shot there. And this was part of the Empire crossover comics from last summer, actually. So if you're interested in checking out some comics with them in it, uh, big tie over, uh, crossover series, rather, Empire was pretty cool. So check that out. But yeah, so I, I, I kind of wish they were on the Young Avengers. It doesn't mean they couldn't bring out more Young Avengers in the future, but uh, they could always just bring them out as some sort of cosmic team. Something that doesn't necessarily, I don't know, some way to fuse some of the characters we have now, some of the Kree characters, and add in Wiccan and Hulkling. Because I, I, I feel like the way that they have Young Avengers now, we already have characters who aren't even Young Avengers. You know, but uh, it's because it's for the famine event. It might get too complicated if we add them into the existing Young Avengers. I don't know. You, you got the door there. If you take Vision and Scarlet Witch and you bring in Wiccan and Speed and yeah. just the whole thing in because yeah. reason, why not? Well, they, they do that all the time. So you just need to backbone a team with two or three characters and throw some others in. So I'd be okay with that as long as they're on the same team. If they brought out Wiccan and Hulkling and they were not on the same team, I will quit Marvel Strike Force. Just, just one. <laughs> that will happen. So if they want me to quit, then that's what they're going to do. Yeah. All right. So that's them. They're the characters I want the most in this game. We're going to move on to the final character, and this is one of yours, uh, Spider-Woman. Uh, and so I don't know much about this. Jessica Drew, they said Spider-Clone from Earth-1610, which is the ultimate universe. So on you. Yeah, I think this one would be very interesting. Um, so, yeah, I didn't know much about her either. We just when we came up with the concept for this video, I went to researching, hey, what characters could they add, um, you know, for Pride Month or any month, you know, it doesn't have to be Pride Month to add one of these characters to, to get some inclusion. Um, but I found Spider-Woman to be very interesting. Now, this um, when, when Spider-Woman, when the Spider-Woman we have came out, Everyone's like, why doesn't she have a Web Warriors tab? Why isn't she this or that? I'm like, okay, Spider-Woman that we have has nothing to do with Spider-Man other than she's in like Spider-Man comics and stuff. <laughs> like, But she's not like, she doesn't have spider powers. She's yeah. like a shield, she's like a super shield agent. See, she was basically created to keep the trademark. They wanted to make sure that DC Comics couldn't make like, you know, a Spider-Woman <laughs> and steal their thunder. So this Spider-Woman uh, comes from um, a different uh, uh, dimension, right? Mm -hmm. Where she is a cloned version of Peter Parker. Uh, so that, that's okay. where wow. the, the inclusion part comes in. We almost have like a trans thing going on. This is Peter Parker in a female body, uh, yeah. which is interesting. This image that I have behind here actually is, I, I pulled this from the wiki, but it, it's, it said like these were all like various clones. Of Peter yeah. Parker, some sort of clone arc, I guess here. So that's kind of interesting. Oh man, I would I would go for that team all day. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> this kind of this kind of looks familiar. I, this this one with the the multiple. I know it's a different character, but I mean, I, I feel like I've seen that before somewhere. Yeah, dude, I, I would guess. wail for this team. This team's so weird. Like, let's go. But uh, even if you just want to bring Spider Woman in and give her, you know, Spider Verse tags. And then, because right now the Web Warriors have a real serious problem, like getting back to the realm of Marvel Strike Force and how this actually works. <laughs> um, Web Warriors suck outside of raids, and they could really use a plug-in character um, to make them work in War, to make them work in Crucible, to make them work in Dark Dimension, mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of bring their functionality out into some other game modes so that your investment isn't totally, you know, wasted. Have they ever given this this before? Like they've oh, they've teased it before, but they've never really done it right. I like to see him do it. I like to see him do it with this character. I think it's a fascinating character to bring like into the public conscience because it's such an interesting concept. These are the kind of storylines we get when we start when we stop being closed minded and we start being open minded. <laughs> we start getting stuff like this, which is uh, which is fascinating. I think she's a really cool looking character. I, I'm wondering, like, do you think we're oh done with the Spider-Verse tag? Like, some of the reasons why we even have that to begin with is, like, the Shuri event. Uh, it's her, right? And Gamma? And, like, one or two sections of Doom War. So, I, like, I'm just... Are they ever going to do a larger, uh, you know, connection to the, the, the Spider-Verse tag versus, you know, other team tags? Or, you know, mix and matching Spider-Verse characters? Or are we kind of done with that? Because they used to do callouts for Spider-Verse, but I don't think they really do that anymore. 
Yeah, I was a little annoyed that the Web Warriors were just like the Web Warriors. Yeah. And weren't as... Like, they had a little bit of tie-in with Symbiote Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Like, he's like a... I don't know. Because he has Hero Spider-Verse call-outs. Hero Spider-Verse. So that could have been really so, interesting. So but. there was there, there was some little backdoor interaction there. But I'd like to see him make it more overt. I'd like to see this team be more fluid. Yeah. Uh, which would be interesting. That's and one of the... <laughs> and that's one of the things that I want... I wish we had more of was, like, less less pigeonholing characters on, you know, this is just... You can only use them on this team, but, like, I don't know, some theory crafting where you could bring in other characters for various reasons and why... You, we used to have that, like, long time in the past, and I feel like we need to kind of come back to that a little bit just to get some yeah, more fun in the game these days. Absolutely. Any final words here on, on Spider-Woman? Are, are we done? Or... I think that's about it. Uh, all right. That's all. Well, for more, uh, come over to Mr. Yes. Hargrave, and and we'll do the we'll do the second part over there. I got a couple more characters, and so does Boylan, right? Absolutely. So thanks, Mr. Hargrave, for coming on to my channel for this. We'll be doing more, like he said, on his channel. So do check out the links in the description below. Uh, we'll have that there. And yes, thanks for coming along. And for everyone else, until next time, uh, stay safe and healthy. I forgot my own lines, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out. And Mr. Hargrave. Keep digging.